How does a wireless guitar transmitter compare to a cable? Well, I noticed one difference. Let's talk about it. And that is a really good question because you spend all that time and money building your tone. You don't want to have your wireless take it all away. This isn't really something I could demonstrate on camera, but I did notice switching from wireless to the cable that the cable was a little bit louder. First time I noticed this, I was actually on stage. I warned the sound guys that I was going to be using this like cheap knockoff wireless transmitter. I was going to try it. If it sucked, I was going to switch to a cable. And it actually worked really well. And this was a lot of fun. Playing on stage with the wireless is way more fun than the cable. And near the end of our two hour set, I had to switch to a cable because this thing was dying. And when I switched to a cable, the main thing I noticed was that it seemed like I had a boost pedal on. Everything was just a bit louder. It was a bit louder through the amp, through the monitors, through the house. Everything just felt like I had a boost pedal on still, which wasn't a big deal. I just dialed back a little bit in front of house, dialed back a little bit, and everything was good. So that's just one thing to consider. I just noticed a volume difference, nothing with tone. But if you have a similar experience or different experience, let me know in the comments.